Hey guys, it's Bailey and I am back. This week was my birthday. I'm 21 now. I had a great time celebrating here in Berlin with my friends, but I know no matter how awesome and amazing my birthdays in the future will be, I'm never gonna have a better birthday story than my 13th birthday. So what exactly happened on my 13th birthday party? Well, so obviously my birthday is in August, which means I didn't have school ever during my birthday and sometimes we would go on family vacations so I wouldn't always be around my friends to celebrate my birthday with. And I was okay with that, though it's getting to be the end of August, it's around my birthday time, and that's also of course when back to school stuff starts to happen. So my parents took me out to the mall for the day to get back to school clothes and whatnot, because I think it was like 8th grade, so it was my last year of middle school, so I had to dress cool which of course means that any pictures I have of me in that period are awful. So. <laughs> because what you think is cool in eighth grade is absolutely by no uncertain terms never cool at any other time. So, uh, got all the shopping done, got clothes I was really happy with, and we get to the front door and my parents say, so are you happy with everything you got for your birthday even though you didn't have a party? And I'm like, yeah, that was awesome. I got great clothes. And then I open the door and all of my friends are standing there. The house is completely decorated like an under the water aquarium themed birthday party and they all shout surprise at me. And I was completely shocked. Like my best friends had organized this and my parents were in on it and like, it was just incredible. There were streamers and fish balloons and like fish glitter, which we continued to find for several years afterwards, was everywhere and it was awesome. And I was very excited because of course I was, this was so cool. And so my friends who had planned all of this and executed it fantastically, uh, were very into the party planning part. So we had the games planned out and everything. And one of the things that these particular friends loved to do and continued to love to do for several years before and after this story uh, was have scavenger hunts. So we had like 10 teams searching because everyone had a partner and uh, then we each had our own very specific route and I don't even know. It was complicated and it was well executed. Um, and it was outside is the important part. So we start the scavenger hunt and every all the teams are splitting up. Like I don't have a huge front yard and backyard, but there's enough trees and stuff that you can hide lots of things in different places. In the one side yard, there's this like slab rock thing that's like, it's just always been there. I don't know why it's there. It's just always forever been there. But when making the scavenger hunt, my friends put uh, one of the clues like half under the slab of rock. That was not my clue. I remember being somewhere by the mailbox, like down by the street. Uh, so the friend who was going to get this rock clue was a little excited. And so he basically accidentally shoved the paper all the way under the rock. Like he couldn't, he didn't just pull it out. It somehow managed its way underneath. And so instead of just lifting it up a little and reaching in and pulling out the paper because he was a 13 year old boy, he flipped the rock over. That was a choice. <laughs> so as I said, I was down by the street, maybe like, maybe like 50 feet away from him. And I just hear screaming and I look up and there's this kid ripping across my front yard with a literal cloud behind him. And I have no idea what's going on. He's screaming and flailing and I have no idea why there's a cloud behind him. I feel a sharp pain right here and I look down and it's a wasp. There was a wasp's nest under this rock. He just basically tore it in half. And so a cloud like Tom and Jerry style of very, very angry wasps is now chasing him across my yard through 20 kids. And of course, since it's a scavenger hunt, we're all out in the open, no one is safe inside, and we're all subject to the attack from these very angry, very freshly homeless wasps. And so everybody got stung, except two people. Two out of 20 people did not get stung. I was not one of them. It was the two people who planned the party. <laughs> the party breaks down very quickly as soon as a cloud of wasps arrives. Everyone's screaming and there's crying and we have no idea what we're doing and my parents somehow managed to come out and like herd us all into the house without letting the cloud of wasps into the house. I don't remember that clearly, but so we're all now inside my house. We're very shaken up and we're all like crying because wasps, stings hurt and 
the luckily no one was like badly hurt the kid who flipped the rock and his partner who was standing like a foot away from the rock both got stung 15 times each luckily no one was allergic we didn't have to go to the hospital room i think my parents just like emptied out the freezer got everything cold and we ate the pizza early while watching tv and so my 13th birthday party was surprising in more ways than one i always looked on the bright side because Everyone who was at that party remembers that party very well. So thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the idea of 13 year olds getting stung by bees. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.